Hello everybody and welcome back to Insane Brit Gaming. I am the Insane Brit and this is part one of um, what I believe to be originally a demo, but I think it's a full game, um, of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. As you can tell, I don't normally have that kind of spirit in me, but there you go. Um, so what I understand is from the story, or thus far, you know, what I've been told is it's about a little boy, it's in the Life is Strange universe, so we're going to get that kind of gameplay and as you know I love Life is Strange, I love those kind of choice based games and stuff like that, so here we go. Graphics look pretty decent. And the music's pretty good, straight off the bat, so I've been copyright striked, thanks. I know I could turn it off, but sometimes I've, the emotion... Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control expression on their faces. <laughs> stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. <laughs> What's this kid doing? Using the force? My joypad's just vibrating. Plot twist, he's a Jedi. In Life is Strange, they had the time stopping thing. And a bunch of other elements in certain games where there's a novelty there when you play the game. So it wouldn't surprise me if it had that kind of ability. Oh, you cheating bastard. He was using his hand the whole time. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Still can't compete with One Punch Man. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing. Alright, so he wants a cape? Mask or no mask? Alright, here we go. Mask or helmet? Hmm. <sighs> Who the, a helmet is just to protect. A mask ain't really, is, a, is, a, is a superhero thing. My favourite superhero, Batman, has a mask. Hmm. Mask it is. Helmet, they just. Oh, I could be a fireman for fuck's sake. It means nothing. Like. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? He looks like the hurricane. <laughs> um, light armor will make us versatile and be able to do things. Heavy armor will give us more protection and uh, we can take more damage. So for me, I might be sluggish, but I'll be. I'll hopefully have a powerful weapon as well, in theory. Preferably the hammer from Monster Hunter. I've been playing it, I've been playing it too much. So cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Um, I'm sorry, but I'm a Batman fan. We're going dark. I like all my movies to be, you know, R-rated, 18 plus, whatever. Beware, Mantroid. Watch. 
watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Mantroids the enemy, whoever that is. Why do, why do I get the feeling that if that was a comic book, I would want to read it? <laughs> Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Saturday morning? Let's put on some Monster Hunter on PlayStation. What's this? Play what? Hmm. Oh god, I don't want to play toys. Ooh, shark Stinger is looking for victims. God damn it. Oh, what, what is that? Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! Cool car. The pedestrian better get out of the way. Ram him. Eat him. No! Kill him. Yeah! Good. Run over innocent people. Nobody should die like that. Mantroid and his minions will pay for this. Oh, I see. It's playing into the into the concept of what he, his uh, own enemy is doing. Um, open this. Spirit cape. Oh, hold L two and then X to wear it. Okay. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. It's slowly starting to come okay. together. If he puts all yellow on, that's one punch now man. It's time to build the rest of my costume. Walkie talkie. Cool. Who are we gonna call? Ghostbusters! A flying fortress. Come in, come in. Who the fuck's there? Here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. This kid's got some imagination, hasn't he? Snowmancer. I wonder if he's got any real friends because, you know, R1. Charles, what? Oh, I see. Hold on. Okay, I'll be right there. Be right there. Someone's calling me. Bunks Motel. I want to look around more in this thing. Switch on. Switch on the television. It's Saturday. What does he want me for? Oh, he's using his force. Yes. It's static. What the fuck was that about? What's he got? He's got a console. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Uh, it's decades old. Um, what's this? At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This kid's got a lot of issues. What's this? A wish list. This isn't greedy. Uh, let's read it properly. Plus... That oh, dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Who actually writes that? When you're writing a, a note or a list, you don't do the smiley face love heart thing, do you? You don't do that in Texas. Um, okay, so what does he want? Hot Dog Adventure Playbox. Okay. Hot Dog is the name of the, if I'm reading that right, it's spelled differently, is the name of that cartoon that um, the girls liked in Life is Strange when they were kids. I think he's about eight or nine, this kid, I don't know. Maybe ten. Uh, two, Playbox Console Black. So, I don't know why, I'm just going to say it sounds like an Xbox. I don't know why, because it's got the box in it, plus it's black. I don't know. Uh, drawing Paper and Pens. Well, that's a cheap thing to get. You would ask for that for, all right, you might be into it, but like, for Christmas, really? All right, whatever. Uh, next, uh, Basketball Lessons. Hmm. Yeah. Sincerely, Chris. Didn't really know that basketball lessons were a thing. Well, you hear about everything else, but it's like, what? Alright, uh, coming. I know! I'm coming! Right, well, we're, um, being told to come on out, so fuck it. Whoa. 
Whoa. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Is that Ethan Mars from Heavy Rain? He looks like Ethan Mars, or it could be his brother, his close brother. That's a bit rude. Ain't a hotel. Well, no, ain't a hotel. Captain Spirit needs to drink milk. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Scrambled egg and toast. Is that a beer at like what ten in the morning or some shit? <sighs> What'd you expect? A waffle? It's good. I like mums. Mums always do seem to do it best, don't they? And once you have your mums or whatever, you don't. Uh, it's always different when someone else do it. I just, like, so sunny side up, like mum used to make. Yeah. Me too. That's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying, "Mom used to do this or that." I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay. Yeah. So they lost their mum, and that's why he's drinking. Plan for today. You're drinking. Hmm. You're drinking beer before you eat. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey. I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. Alright, you don't drink that much. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks... Yeah, it's got a bruise on it. Anybody, yeah, uh, ask you about it or, uh, say anything at all? It's fine, it kinda hurts. Ooh, hold on, so now I'm getting to the root of it. So, my theory at this point, the mum is dead. He's an al alcoholic or been turned into a drunk or a violent drunk or whatever, and he takes out his anger or aggression sometimes on his son. And, uh, you know, kid's got a wild imagination and does his own thing. He's one of those kids, you know. And uh, yet he's being injured by his dad when he turns into a drunken wreck, I suppose, and he's hitting his son. Blaming him for it, I don't know. That's that's sad, man. So they were getting that's my theory right now anyway. So he's asking, is anyone saying anything about it? Worrying about it, dickhead. Now, because he feels he get caught. Yeah, it kind of hurts. It's fine. Let's worry the cunt. Well, it kind of hurts a little. Really? I, I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. Makes me sad that I that, that you got hurt. Oh, but you got hurt. That bad. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Don't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Always. You are you too. Okay. Well, I'm always. So. I'm always excited for Christmas. Intent. I was hoping Santa might. Maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. I won't today. 
And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. So it's gone from a console to a fucking basketball for ten bucks. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. What the fuck? This motherfucker had a beer, three of them by the looks of it, and now he's grabbing a big bottle of whiskey and he's trying to hide? Fuck out of here. Damn, man. Full throw for this kid. Alright, we're free to move yet? Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? Alright, so we can't do a number of things here. Uh, I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find whatever I need laying around. Um, Captain Spirit treasure buried around here somewhere. Two parts of the map to find of my way. Uh, I'm going to practice target skills with beer cans. Hmm. Looks like something to stop him in time, blah, blah, blah. What else is there? My superhero team is strong, but I keep. I better keep my eyes on Metroid and his super villains. But Ma Mantroid, sorry, is still. What? Hong on his planet. With my full costume, I will be a special and find him. Okay, so I need my full costume, is basically saying. Uh, I can't let the water eater. Defeat me this time. So that's okay. So I got turn that on or something. All right, let's do this. I know I'm just gonna do random things then. We'll have a look around the house. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the. Oh okay, they want to do that. So I've got to go outside, I suspect. Um, how do we run? Oh yeah, score! Wait, what's that? Garage key. All right, let's take that. Fine. Um, to find your close, your inventory. Oh, I see. So it's like okay. So let's go outside if we can. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Okay. Wait, what's that? Light switch. Now you will oh. learn your lesson and stay clean. Oh, my right eye is killing me. So he's doing laundry. Uh, wash. I hope I set this right. Alright, open this. What's in here then? Turn the fucking light on. Shit. Okay, so we must be in his imagination right now because there's no way this is just some random door leading to this place. I <laughs> assume we have to go over here. Whoa, what's that? You have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. I haven't got no gun. Or anything. What the fuck is this? 
a water eater, I see, so in his imagination it's scary. Who's the dark fucking room? Turn the light on. Tame. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, it's gotten a hell of a lot smaller. Really? That was it? Yes! Finally, we're in the day again. Shit. Well, the mind is a powerful thing. I've so, in his mind, that was scary as hell, where to us yeah, it's like... The water the heater was down again, so I fixed it. Yeah, the washing up got done pretty quick, didn't it? Like, what? Um, can we... Wait, fridge. Well, I've just eaten, so I don't really want to cook anything. Trash. Let's put that in the trash, then. Power trash. green things are flushed into space. Okay. More trash. So, at this point we're just doing chores, so bear with me. We're going to do everything power trash. Seriously? No, he couldn't squeeze the can. What's that? Add ice cream. Go on, Let's fuck it. See. What do we need? What's that? A postcard? I've never seen a beaver around here. Beaver Creek. Really? The best damn town in America. Okay. Um, where else to go? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Uh, Baby's pizza, pizzeria, Reynolds, Dad's cell phone. Right there, okay. Um, we've got a ton of shit here. Shoot Dad. Books. Let's shoot him. This is a slow paced game, but we're going for it nonetheless, so. Headshot! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! Hmm. I'm surprised he's that playful. The zombie jock. No way! That was a headshot! I am a super zombie! Well,. I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. <laughs> that was quick, but yeah. Strikes back. I suppose when you isolate like this, you have to come up with your own fun, and he's young with a lack of money. What can you do? You, you really do have to use your imagination. Razor. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? I don't know, but I wouldn't start craving to shave. It's a pain in the ass. Um, that's the reason I stopped. And now I'm just a bearded man. Ooh, hot water! Yes, I won. <laughs> All right, there's something here about an interview. What's that about? Okay, keep looks good. It's not enough for a real superhero. Okay, interview. Let's do that. Welcome to WHERO. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. 
Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of super villains. Do you have any message for them? Uh, we'll give them, I'll crush them. No, no, fuck, I'll crush that My bitch. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? Um, are my superheroes? Well, what a sad thing about the dad, but... My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Uh... Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to WHERO News. Okay, so he gave an interview to himself. <laughs> what the hell is that? On the I toilet, my dad really? Let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I don't know why either. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. Oh hot dog. Handsome hot dog man. <laughs> Alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of hot dog man? Also also more comics. Uh what else is there here? Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. It's makeup. Damn. I'm gonna apply makeup. No one will guess my secret identity now. One more piece, and I'm almost done. What do I look like with that one? Fight man, oh my, my god! Is done. Right. So the final. I need one more piece of my costume, apparently, and I'm done. Um, again, I'm trying to run. How do I run in this game? Hey, can you get that? What? The phone? Shit. Chris, answer the phone, please. Uh, Jesus. Hello? Oh, my name's Chris. Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, <laughs> who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh... Who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising. Universal Uprising Church. <laughs> you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh, take out. Let's take out the bin. I hate that beer can smell. Oh, I hate those cold calling bastards. I used to phone at 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I used to actually get up and crawl over to the phone like, What, who is it? Thinking it was someone for me, like, you know, generally, uh, someone I knew. And I'd be like, uh, Hello, we're interested in selling you this or that. I'm like, what the fuck? It's 8, 9 o'clock in the fucking morning. Fuck off. And I put the phone down. <laughs> in the end, I came out of the... Um, the thing where they can get your number from the public or whatever it was, I don't know, I fucking, the directory, it pissed me off. That's where they get your number from. Um, what's in here? Dad's room. Very clean room. Baseball bat. 
I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. Perfume. Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. That's quite smart, to be honest with you, for her to remember her scent by. You know, all her, it's not directly, but you know what I mean? All fix. What the fuck is that? Something dropped. Light on. They are key. Bingo. Yeah. Why do you have a key there? Interesting. Alright, let's turn that off. Looking at the bed, I don't Mom know why. Would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Shit, if we start playing music, they're going to know that we're in here. And I'll get copyright striked even more. No! Fuck. It's uh, Charles Erickson. I'm a 12 and I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all the games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you are drafted for the NBA team. Thank you and see you at the next game. Charles Erickson. Is that his dad? Hmm. So he's an ex-basketball player? Is that what I'm reading here? That's scary. Is alcohol... What? Is alcohol drinking your life away? Yes, it is. is it? We're not alone. We can help. Contact Overcoming Alcoholism. Discount rates available. Should we move because Dad can pay for the house? That sucks. Um... Dear Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show that you missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances by we understand you and sympathize with every homeowner situation. Our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. We hope you resolve this issue with you soon. Ah, so we had to move because of that. Oh, so much reading. Dear coach, oh, he's a coach. What? Although our forty, oh, okay, our faculty respects your legacy and dedication. You have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behaviour. With this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We are sorry for the situation, but the Interest in safety and fairness on the of students always come first. We include a pamphlet information. Damn, so he was an ex-basketball player, hence the reason I'm interested in basketball, who has a legacy, you know, retired, did whatever, and now um, coaches the kids at the local school and lost that job because of his drinking. Maybe he lost it because the mum died and then he started drinking and then lost the job. That's sad, man. I'm starting to paint a picture of it right now. Oh, thank God. No more fucking reading. Oh, great. We've got a letter here. Mm, Son I of a bitch. He had a new... Oh, what? Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed. You, you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stressed you out. So that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when... You make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son and I... Oh, okay. 
and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you don't. But you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways, and just can't exercise my express myself. So you understand. I think about you and me together. So I hope that you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Yours, your tiny dancer, Audrey. Huh? So he's seeing a woman and she wants to be more involved, but he ain't letting meet my son. Uh, the son, whatever. Interesting. I used to always talk about this basketball. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box. No Holy way. shit. He did. Damn. Right, we've seen that letter. Anything else? That's about it. But damn, man. He got something. I don't know if that's a console, though, is it? There was a play box and there was something else. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Alright, wait, what was that? I had another option there. No, wait, why would I, I steal one? His cancer sticks. Gross. I wonder what they taste like. No, don't. It's disgusting. I bet we get in trouble for that. He'd be like, oh, you've stolen a cigarette. You're smoking now. I bet all this comes together and it makes us look terrible. Lay down. No, I don't want to lay down. We have other things to do. Leave first mark. What's that? What the hell is that? What the? Now I must. Ex I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Oh, he got angry and and thingy. Is that what you said? I've never seen Dad get that mad. Yeah, there we are. It really scares me. Right, so let's get out of here. Oh man, she loved this song. I haven't listened to it since... for a long time. Long time. So he's talking about the mum. But before we do that, I want to go outside. <clears throat> and then we'll talk to the dad. It's a nice house, all on one level. It looks kind of isolated though from know how long it is to get to the next part or like into town. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Oh, target practice. This is one of the things on the list we had to do, I think, so. Might as well get this done. Right, come on. No. Yes. Shit. I didn't knock them all down. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on. They should have all fell. Three shots, really? Come on, should have done it in two at least. Oh, come on. Bollocks. Easy. Boom. Finally. Boom. Bam. Recycle that. All right, so that's a save point. We've done accomplished something there. Clear snow. We're doing everyday hero stuff. It would seem clearing the snow, putting out the trash. <laughs> I 
Whew. Some it's been boiling over the past few days. Drive me nuts. Right, um, what else? Can't go out that door. Let's check in here. Put the light on. What? I said put the light on. God damn it. What the fuck? Oh my god. It said light switch. Fucking. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe it said switch, but then it highlighted door. I don't know. That's dumb. There we are. Light switch, finally. Fucking hell. Alright, what's in here? Ooh, a combination lock. I have no idea what that is. Oh wait, hold on, what if I do my trick? Hold on, I've got a trick here. Where's one? Where's two? This this might not work, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Hmm. Maybe something important for dad. I would have said my birthday, but I don't know. Where's three for fuck's sake? Oh here we are. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna do it. Two, three, four. No, I ain't gonna do it, I don't know. Must be something about basketball. Maybe it was his number. Or a score, what's this? What no, I don't. Would he use? Alright, so that's five, six, four, five, six, seven. Not it. So, uh, hmm, maybe something important for Dad. We might have to come back here and find it. Must be something about basketball. Nah, ain't gonna be it. So whatever it was, we didn't do it, so it's annoying. So it is about basketball, we'll have to remember that. Maybe there was something on the basketball in the thing. We might have to come back. We will come back to that if we have to. Ooh, I can even paint my costume once I make it. Uh, this is where mom went to school before we came here. Erickson is Principal Blackwell. Oh, Blackwell cannot. I want to personally reach out to you and thank you for your continued support in the arts program, Prestige School. We are displaying work along with other uh, aluminum. Okay, we have memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us. Come visit the campus, blah, blah, blah. Principal Wells, so he was there. Ah. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Oh god, I can't bother to read all that shit. I'm not reading it. It's fucking driving me nuts. Too much fucking reading. What was here? What, that was it? We came in here for nothing? That's fucking shit. I'm annoyed at that. I feel like they're saying saying here. Well, I mean, I've done that code. So we have to pay a little bit more close attention to the uh, the basketball and everything else. All right, can we run? All right. R2's to run. 
What's this? Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. That might be the last part of the costume. Oh, I could use. No, this hold on. To make some I'll push cool the wrong button. Armor. All right. <laughs> Soon almost ready. After I get some paint, I can't go anywhere without the keys. Can I go in here? It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Okay, nothing out here now. Last thing is the tree house, and it is R2 to run, by the way. But. We can go to the tree house to see what happens there. Wait, that ain't it, is it? Nope. Here it is. Oh, Rebuild. Answer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Hmm, looks a little bit better. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Alright. Oh, this tree house. So called cool tree house. Go up. He does look like One Punch Man. He's got those boots on. If it was yellow, it was One Punch Man. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. So I'm uh. telling me this is a girl's doll. Yes, it is. What? She's the Ice Queen. You're weird, dude. Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Okay. Oh, here we are. Secret stuff. Or armor, whatever. Uh, open sesame. Open sesame? I thought he was using a false. Secret decoder. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Oh yeah, that's right, we had to find some treasure, that was one of the things on the list. These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. Not a baseball fan myself, my god. I love watching Mom draw her comics. Hmm, she read, she draw her uh, comics? School letters. More reading. No. Dad, but I can't let him see this. Just want to know that you or your son got in small. What? I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry. Okay, so and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child. The only one through what? Only knows you through me, as I might know Harry is an honor student and decorated boy scout. I'll oh, fuck off. Oh, I see. What? Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this balloon continues, I will speak to his school. So we're being pinned as a bad person. Are we? Are we, we don't come across as a bully. This is my worst report card. Report card. Mm -hmm. Beaver Creek Elementary School. B, I fucking hate math. Physical education D, C plus, A and R. Oh, okay. That's about it, really, for that. Mm. 
light cigarette. Slow, like Dad. Oh shit, he's actually going to smoke it. We'll try him, my god. <coughs> oh, man. Disgusting. Stop. I reckon this is all going to come back on us to bite us in the ass. I might actually go down now. Let's just open that up again. I'm not going to do that. Alright, let's go down back into the house. We can speak to Dad and find out what's that basketball thing as well. Did we complete our costume? We haven't yet, have we? Oh no, we might have. Can't go anywhere else. It's next door. Something to do with basketball that code had. Hmm. I don't know how long I've been on this video, but it, like I said, it's a slow paced game, so. It is what it is. Right, um, what do we got to do? Unlock Dad's phone. Once you're British strong, okay. Find him. What is this? Something decoder. We still haven't done that. That is annoying the shit out of me. I won't even lie. There's so much stuff to. What? Oh, I see. It's a. Please, good job, chocolate hog. Where's the map? We need a map. There's so much shit in this house that I got to look at. It drives you nuts. Gotta find the map. Oh, here we are. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Well, there's a map. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. Hmm. I'll play with that. Weapons. Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. But just in case. I hope I can draw as good as Mom someday. Oh, so she was a comic book person. Chris, since you're gonna be going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. <laughs> That's nice. Empty what? Firecrackers. It just seems to be too slow paced for my liking in this game. Use. Am I done with this superhero thing now? Do we look good enough? Just want to confirm that, I don't know. Let's go speak to the dad. He ain't asleep yet. Or is, oh yeah, he is asleep. Wake up. Dad, you, you sleeping? He's conked. He finished that whole bottle. I knew it. Wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh, Dad! Damn. <laughs> uh, fuck. Three or four Dad. 
beer cans and whiskey. Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Oh shit, he's drunk. Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on him. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Alright, so I'll go get the door. Oh shit, who's that? Gee, that's a lot of beer. Uh, no. Yeah. Dad had a party for the game. Really? I didn't see any cars in the driveway. Oh, oh you no. nosy bitch. Game. Anyway, how are you, Chris? It's a neighbor. Good, Mrs. Reynolds. I knew it. <laughs> Just. Just? Uh, doing homework, video games, cleaning the house. Uh... Fuck Just, it. you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. <sighs> Maybe I should have said that, but the console's I broken or whatever. you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I was going for a nice walk and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. Is everything okay? Dad just fell. Took a tree. We didn't hear. Um, oh man, there's, there's no tree. If I say Dad fell, oh, I'll just... Yeah, okay. of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud, and there's no other houses around. You probably oh, for fuck's sake. Watching the game. You kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Buy a pine tree, work on the tree house. Oh, yeah. Me and my dad oh, are shit. Go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris. I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. Okay. At this point, there's a couple of things here. We have to be honest about it. In hindsight, I look at it and I'm like, bitches being nosy. You know what I mean? Interfering. Um... In, in some respects, like, you know, she asked about her dad, if I said about the pine tree, like, we've got all got one or whatever, then we're decorating it, you know, 
we already know we haven't got one. We're going to out and out lie, but I thought that was going to catch us out later. She knows that the dad's drinking heavily kind of thing in the situation, so she's trying to say you can come on over and our house if anything's wrong, blah, blah, blah. But also another thing is she's looking out for the well-being of the boy, so I understand in that respect. But I suppose I'm of a narrative of she's being nosy because, you know what I mean? Like, no one's household is perfect, and I think there's been times like that in the past where maybe, you know... Uh, even in your house, for example, things may not be always up to scratch, whatever. Um, it's, it's The world's not perfect, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's drunk and sprained his ankle. So, I didn't want to tell her that because it doesn't paint him in a good light. Uh, if he had smacked me in the face, maybe I would have, you know, well, they've got that bruise on my arm. I'm, I'm surprised she didn't say anything about that either and spotted that, which is quite ironic considering the fact she's looking out for me, supposedly. Um... But the, it's nice to know that she's there anyway. But I don't know. It depends on what side you're on. But that's the way I'm looking at it. So, giving you two sides of it. But we're more or less trying to cover for our dad to a point. You know what I mean? She's concerned we're working all the time and not actually having fun as a kid. So what did that nosy bitch want? There you are, nosy bitch. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I. You're just. just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me. You talk. Stop it. I see, you just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Oh. oh hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Damn. Yes, you did. No, listen, Chris. Damn, damn, damn. He blames a kid for his mother's death. Be something in the water of the town of Life is Strange or whatever, because everyone seems to get sucking superpowers. in like a month's time or something, I don't know. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. That was pretty good. I'm annoyed that the whole game ain't out because I like doing, I don't like doing it in bit parts. Um, but I thought it's very interesting. I don't know how long this has gone on for. I don't think I completed all the tasks that needed to be done. But um, I certainly got to a point where, you know, it ended or whatever and I'm, I'm fine with that. We still don't know what's in that cupboard in the actual garage. But I'm, I'm loving it thus far. I know it's we've had this one hour or whatever element of gameplay has been in the house doing chores and other stuff like that. But hopefully it gets a lot more interesting. There'll be more interaction with different characters. Uh, we'll be, you know, and uh, but it's building up a picture right now about who this dad is, what's the situation. And we've ended on, you know, he partly blames the, the son for his mother's death. That's sad, man. And if and if that... I understand where he's coming from in a, in a bit, but even if you did think that, in deep down in your heart, you thought 
if it weren't for him that person wouldn't have won out but you could say that about anybody blame it on anybody if if, if you could blame it on yourself if this you I mean you could have said it this person could have said it like said I'll go here go there whatever or pick me up here so it could be associated with anyone but the, even if you did do that and blamed or part of you said it was their fault they went out that day or took the car you wouldn't tell them not unless you hated that person especially your own son who's eight or nine how do you how do you how do you say that how do you I mean you know uh, you can see right away he regretted saying it, but at the same time, that was that was a terrible thing to say to him. Um, anyway, guys, I am really liking this right now. I mean, I'm like the story elements really interesting. We're getting deeper into it, and we're trying to unravel it. Um, it's a slow-paced game. I understand that. I really, really do. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we have to wait for the next part. Um, hopefully, we'll find out more information about when that comes out. I don't know. Um, but definitely something interesting in continuing playing. If anything, like I said, I'm annoyed that I haven't got the whole thing out so I can just play it all the way through in like a week's time. Like, you know, like one an hour each day or whatever it is like I normally do. Anyway, guys, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links will be in the description below. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and we'll be continuing Monster Hunter, by the way. Hey guys, at the end of the credits, I've just seen this. Look at this. Meet Chris again in Life is Strange 2. My Life is Strange 2. So, I know you can pre-order that game. So, he will be in the next game. But at least we'll have a bit of a backstory to him right now. Um, but I'm definitely interested in knowing when the next part of this, is, of this whole game is coming out or what. But I don't know. We'll have to find out a little bit more about that. And I'll let you know via Twitter or the community tab or in a video or something like that. <clears throat> but yeah. So, he will be in Life is Strange 2. Which is going to be interesting. Continue in this new game? What? I don't know, what does that mean? Continue? Maybe we can do more parts to it. Or is it the whole game? Oh, that was one episode. I don't know. Oh, I see. So it's like a repeat thing, and then you can think, okay. Well, all right, guys, that is it. And uh, I'm going to go play some more Monster Hunter now. I'm going to go and try and kill the Black Diablos. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.